Today we're going to learn to play Neil Young's Heart of Gold. If you like the way I played the harmonics in that intro, go to my YouTube channel and look up the lesson on harmonics. Let's get started. We're going to start this song with E minor 7. It's E minor chord. A lot of you will play it with fingers 1 and 2. I prefer 2 and 3, but 1 and 2 is fine. But add your pinky to the 2nd string 3rd fret. E minor 7. We're going to start with a downstroke, two downstrokes actually on string six, a little bit of palm muting back here with your the side of your hand, not actually the palm, but that's what it's called, but kind of the side right in here, touching right in here. You're going to be striking about halfway muting the string here. Okay, two downstrokes, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to a D chord. One, two. Rid of the seventh okay just go straight back to E minor so again it's then we're going to do a hammer on from string five from open to the second fret and then we're going to strike string four open and then we're going to press in on fret two and strike it okay so that's and it starts back over here That's one section of the song that happens many times throughout the song. And verse 1 comes in with an E minor. Two down strokes and one strum. Going to a C chord, same thing. D chord. G. We're going to go through that three times, okay, in the verses. It's E minor, C, D, G. Each of those chords we're striking the bass note twice and then doing one strum so that's string six on the e minor string five on c string four on d string six on g then it's going to do this at the end of each verse Then there's only one other chord progression to learn for this whole song, and it's the bridge. On the bridge, it's going to start with the words, Keep me searching for a heart of gold. Keep me searching, and I'm growing old. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. been a minor for a heart of gold and then C, C, C C, C, G and that's where the song ends with those few chord progressions you can play this whole song I would recommend you get on YouTube look up the song, listen to it and write out the order of the song yourself it'll be good for you to do that especially for those of you that are young that have never done that it's helpful. Get on there and listen, and you can go, oh, yeah, that sounds like that first progression he taught me. And it'd be a good, a good thing for you to do. Uh, but if you like short but sweet lessons that get to the point, I try to leave out as much bull as I can. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and 
I'm planning on putting out new lessons every week for the next several years. I hope you'll come along for the ride. Thanks a lot. The headless guitar player is back. I've been gone for four and a half years. And yes, I look older. <laughs> but here I am. I'm back. I'm back.